if you go all the way back to ancient Greece, to the fifth century BC in Athens, you find one of the most important philosophers in the history of the West, namely Plato. And Plato was famous for articulating a story about what it is for anything to be anything at all, and in particular, what it is for us to be the kinds of beings that we are. What's important for Plato is truth, correctness, theoretical understanding. He was drunk on theory. It was so amazing to him. One of his big contributions to philosophy was the theory of forms, and that was the idea that we understand things and recognize things and, and can use things only to the extent that we have an idea of what they are. Plato thought things are as they really are when they're abstracted away from all of their particular details. And that's really been a dominant influence in philosophy. So philosophers have thought that we understand the world by getting clear about the way we think about the world. On the Platonic model, the most important and most interesting thing that we can do as human beings is to sit back and think rationally about the nature of the universe. That's a classical philosopher's account of what's special about us as human beings. We're rational beings, we're intellectual beings, we're thinking beings. Then comes another move a long time later, around 1650, René Descartes, who was a mathematician and also very interested in science. Descartes said, and he meant this as a sort of definitive description of himself and other entities like him, is that I am a thinking thing. And a thinking thing is a mind which has in it ideas and in it experience and in it a representation, a kind of picture of the world. Especially since Descartes, philosophers have thought about us as subjects standing over against objects. And what you get is this incredible idea of what I call disengaged subject, right? That the subject of knowledge is not engaged in a, in a society. On the contrary, Descartes is asking people, each one to go back into their own mind and see how they can be certain of anything in the world, right? So disengaged from the society of of, as it were, fellow speakers disengaged from the body, disengaged from tradition and history. Don't simply take anything on the fact that you've got it from your preceptors or huh? work it out for yourself. It's an incredible act of total disengagement. The really proper human mind knowing things is utterly outside of the society, the body, and any kind of tradition, right? Descartes was obsessed with the idea that we couldn't get off the ground if we couldn't find something certain to reason from. And naturally, the only thing he could be certain of is that he was a thinking thing. Because he said even if he doubted it, that he was a thinking thing, he was thinking. So there you can get started. And from there you can deduce everything. And every philosopher afterward, big deal philosophers like Kant, was working within that framework. And Spinoza and Leibniz and so forth. They all just took that for granted. And then a philosopher came along with a high-powered enough to resist and overthrow the whole Plato-Descartes tradition. And that was Heidegger. Martin Heidegger was a German philosopher. In 1927, he published a book called Being and Time, which was a, a landmark in 20th century philosophy, one of the most influential works in philosophy in the last 100 years and, and maybe ever. Heidegger's idea was that the Platonic model has got the story completely backwards. That in fact, the most important thing that characterizes us isn't our ability to sit back and think rationally and logically about any entity or any set of situations in the world. The most important thing about us is our ability to become involved in worlds and to develop skills for acting in those worlds that at root are not intellectual skills but very practical kinds of skills. Skillful coping is being able to do things with your hands like painting or handwriting or woodworking. Oh, sports is another swell example that you learn how to do. But when you are asked how you do it, you can't actually say, well, I just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to hit the ball. 
How am I trying to hit the ball? I don't know, I'm just swinging the bat. But not just swinging the bat, you may be talking to somebody who's really good at it. So Heidegger is really confronting the entire tradition of Western philosophy, going back to the ancient Greeks.